Hi, I'm Dr. Rich, board certified urogynecologist and passionate women's healthcare advocate. Today, we're checking out popular vagina TikToks. Absolutely correct. So the vaginal epithelium is a type of skin. If uh, skin flakes off of your scalp, it's called dandruff. Uh, you can have dry skin occurring anywhere else on your body. In the vagina, it's a mucus environment and it's moist. And when the skin flakes out and comes out, it's going to appear as a discharge. And this is a completely normal process. If there is excessive odor or if there is itching, this might represent a pathologic or an abnormal discharge we can check out in this video here. Yes, so that's true. So sperm can live inside the female urogenital tract, vagina, cervix, uterus, tubes for up to five days. Now, most of the sperm won't survive. 95% will actually be dead by that time, but at a 400 million sperm per ejaculate, uh, it only takes one. So you should be aware that conception can occur days after the actual sexual encounter. Right, so discharge is normal. Uh, there is always going to be some odor. There are foul odors that can indicate that there's a sexually transmitted infection. Having a sexually transmitted infection is part of being sexually active. There are many sexually transmitted infections that can be treated easily with antibiotics. You need to protect yourself, uh, use condoms. Many sexually transmitted infections can have long-term consequences, uh, such as infertility with gonorrhea and chlamydia, uh, neurologic symptoms with syphilis, and can even be lethal in, in the case of HIV. So you need to advocate for yourself. You need to protect yourself in every sexual encounter. Make sure you're wearing a condom. And no, getting STI doesn't make you dirty. Yeah, Kegels are definitely your friend. You can start that at any age. It's a muscular contraction that activates the urogenital diaphragm and pelvic floor muscles, which help strengthen and prevent unwanted things like prolapse and incontinence. And that's actually a really important one is that um, the vagina cleans itself, doesn't need any input from you. Certainly, uh, there is an entire $100 million industry of vaginal cleansing products. And the reality is by using these products, you just wash out the normal protective bacteria and you allow for infections like yeast, like bacterial angiosis to set up and cause symptoms. So it is a self-cleaning organ, doesn't need any additional help. The one caveat for women who are predisposed to getting these types of uh, vaginosis and, and uh, yeast infections would be to take a probiotic. Let's check out the next TikTok. I'm sorry, I just hallucinated. What? <laughs> well, you know, these are the two most common infections, vaginal infections there are. There's yeast and there's bacterial vaginosis. Now yeast almost exclusively uh, is a kind of a curd white discharge and is accompanied by significant itching. The bacterial vaginosis on the other hand is more of a gray discharge. It is accompanied by an odor, not typically as much itching process. And then these things can occur at the same time. They can occur one after the other. It seems like this patient has kind of been maybe misdiagnosed or self-diagnosed for quite a long time and found out she had some other infection. Keep in mind that there are many different types of discharge and reasons for discharge. There can be infections, sexual infections like gonorrhea, chlamydia, which you can check out here, herpes, which you can check out here. All of these infections are gonna have different symptoms, but it's almost impossible to know without having an actual diagnostic test. And if it's a recurrent type of condition, you really need to go each time you have the discharge of the symptoms so that we can collect points of data to determine if it in fact is the same type of infection occurring over and over again and we can develop a treatment strategy around that. <laughs> 